So quantum teleportation was achieved via internet for the first time. Several companies are trying to put quantum computers in space. This may revolutionize the way that we communicate, it may revolutionize science, and yet carrier pigeons are still faster than the internet in South Africa. Let's talk about it. To be clear about what was actually achieved, if you have one particle like a photon and another one that's entangled, they essentially share a spin. If you influence one, it will also influence the other. This is still contentious, even though this whole deal has been looked at for 60 years, there's a lot of complications in physics. Quantum is used in quantum computers, and the ability to transfer that information, it was unclear if we could do it through traditional internet. It was thought that it might just be too noisy. But it was done. This could mean that we would have instantaneous communication. No more waiting for something to upload or download. That information could be there right now. This would also be on a scale of which we've never seen before. We know that quantum computers can do seven septillion years worth of work that a traditional computer could in just a few minutes. I am old enough to have had dial-up internet when I was a child. In 2009, the broadband available in South Africa was extremely slow, and a group of researchers decided to strap four gigabyte USB drives to carrier pigeons to demonstrate that it was still faster. The situation has not improved. Technology does not move to everyone at the same time, but having quantum computers and satellites in space might provide it. So yes, this could be done through a fiber optic cable, but it may also be able to be done via satellite. Quantum computers in space could also provide valuable data analysis to astronauts as well. The internet age has been called the second industrial revolution, and I think we may be seeing us move into a third. The level of computation which these kinds of computers can do has never before been seen. We're seeing computers that can analyze all of the data, the things that we can do that we're really good at as humans, being able to see the different applications. Artificial intelligence can do that too, and at ever-increasing speeds. It has been said that super intelligence of this nature would be the last invention humanity ever made, and I think we're getting there. AI is being used in every field. I've used it too to analyze data sets. Of course, at this point, I still have to check every goddamn thing it does. But we're not inventing things alone any longer. This is an incredibly powerful tool, and yes, it is flawed in lots of ways. But it is getting better, and extremely quickly. Everything we've built in the last 10 years, 20 years, is becoming outdated. Things are becoming outdated on a weekly basis. That is one of the reasons that companies like Google and Microsoft are in a great amount of debt because they're all fighting with each other, which is entertaining, watching them outcompete each other that quickly. The question I have is whether or not it really will be available to everyone, or we're going to see situations where some places carrier pigeons are the best way to get information around. There is a stratification of the way that technology is available to people, and I don't see that changing anytime soon.